Today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in a Nook Simple Touch. And um, I've done about 60 of these things so far. And I watched a video online from one of the battery vendors supposedly showing you how to do it. And of course, it was completely wrong. And I think you damaged your Nook that way. He was using a tool trying to pry the thing open from all sides. And um, you'll see that it's actually very simple to open. And I'll show you that now. So what I do is I take my thumbnail and I get it between this seam right here. Then I use my fingernail in the other direction and I get up underneath that lip there. Then I push to one side, bias it to one side and pull up. The cool part is your fingernail is pretty weak and it's not gonna be stronger than the plastic. So I'm trying to pull this thing off to the side while I'm lifting it up. And that allows me to pull this out without doing any damage. The tabs are right here on the side. I've lost my screen here, so bear with me. All right. Um, the tabs are here on the side. And so what you're trying to do is pull to one side before you pop it off. And I've done plenty and I haven't broken one yet. So you'll notice there's a piece of paper here. And we're going to poke through that paper with this tool. This is a little Torx head tool, but you can use a regular flathead screwdriver if you can find the right size that fits in there. And mine does, and it's a 1.4 by, 1 by 2.5. And I got it at, um, I think at Harbor Freight. Um, this one is purpose built. You can buy this at a discount store, and I think that's the same size used on like iPhones, etc. I'm going to take the screw out and I set it aside. You don't want to lose that thing. That's so tiny. And now what you're going to do, which is a little different than everybody else has shown, is you can see that screw hole. You're just going to pull the back cover forward towards you, rather, and push um, the, other, the other direction. So the other side, the other direction. You're going to notice that you can see half of the receiver for that screw, that little brass insert. And that tells you you're far enough when it, when it bisects that circle. And now you're just going to open it up like a book. And I set it down and I go end to end. And then I reach down with both fingernails and I pop the battery cable out. And these little windows always go down. And now comes the tough part, which is removing all this plastic. I used to go around and pick up all the plastic. Now I know this battery's no good anyway, so I just take a nice score down the middle, just enough to, I don't think you want to get into the battery, just enough to get some purchase on this sticky stuff and peel it away. You can do that successfully. Half the battle is won. And I try to get it to come out. If I can get it to come out a little, I grab it underneath and I use it to pull off the rest. Okay, so there's a bad battery. Get rid of that. And now we've got the new battery. And the important thing here is to find the opening there so that you get it oriented right. And there's this land that goes around, a sort of a little receiver for this thing. And it's really important to push it and make sure that it gets all the way in there and flat. And then I have a pretty sophisticated way of doing this next part, which is just some packing tape. And I get it just maybe about a quarter of an inch on one side. Bring it over to the other. Find where there's just going to be another quarter of an inch to overlay. And you can use scissors or a razor knife. In this case, I'm using a razor knife. I think that's what might be a mistake. But, um, and then you're going to flatten that down. I didn't do such a great job. But anyway, you're going to flatten it down. We're just trying to hold it in place enough so that we can reassemble it because it's going to stay in place. So now find the opening. Twist it towards the direction you're going to close so you don't bind up the wire. And place that back in its receptacle and make sure it's seated. Okay, so here's a little tricky part. Where that window or where that screw hole was, just above it, is a flat area. And you want to, again, use that flat area to bisect that brass insert. So get right halfway between. And when you do that, you'll feel this case just sort of flop down on it. And now that it's all closed up, you can just do the opposite and slide it right back in place. And see, there was no pushing and clipping and snapping. Nothing. Just a nice, easy slide fit and then we're gonna what i do is i use my torque driver here and i get it situated while i have a good grip on it get it in there i think these things have a little bit of magnetism too which helps and then we're going to put it back in making sure that 
thing hasn't moved on us. And don't strip it, so if you feel any resistance, back out, start again. And now we take the cover, I will slide it in from the side like that. Again, pushing to one side to bias it as far as possible and snap it right in. And that's it. And there you go. That's uh, that's how it works. And we have this set up for our specific use. But you can see we've got more than 80 of them. And I've replaced batteries in a bunch of them. And haven't broken anything yet. Keep Keep that in mind.